Hi, Ni hao, Chef Tom. I have a special request from my YouTube friends who want to know how to make ramen noodle soup with egg and meat or any other idea. So, first we're going to boil the egg. I use a, a pot. Just make sure the water cover up, almost cover up the egg. I put medium heat like that. I'm going to um, cook it for, depend, four to six minutes. Depend how fresh of your eggs that you bought and also what size the this is a large, so usually four to six minutes, and then I'm gonna take it out and um, bath it with the ice water to stop cooking. Okay, after five minutes, I turn the heat off, and I got a ice bath water here. Just put the eye the egg in to stop cooking. I'm going to make miso ramen noodle soup. So I got five cups of boiling water. I'm going to add some dashi. Dashi is a Japanese uh, soup stock. And I have this uh, shiitake mushroom. I soak uh, with uh, hot water, three cups. And then I use the mushroom stock to put it in. So we have total eight cups of the water. And we add some tofu. I love tofu and some fish uh, cake from Japanese store and then we're just gonna cook the stock until to a boil so once the miso soup bring up to a boil you just use the ramen noodle this is dry or you can just add uh, fresh if you can get fresh ramen noodle you can just do that I'll put one more in. Oh, you can cook the noodles separately. That will be fine too. And make sure you uh, read the direction from each uh, individual noodle. They cook differently. So, and this one probably cook about uh, three to four minutes. Before the soup even bring up to a boil, I can tell the noodle already separated. But uh, like very authentic, you don't want to overcook the noodle. I add some uh, mirin cooking wine. So Japanese cooking wine, just a little bit. Like that. Give them a nice flavor. And this is the miso paste. I add it with some warm water and dissolve it. Because you don't want to cook miso paste into a boiling hot, hot water. It will ruin the traditional style of cooking miso. You want everything the water is like hot but not boiling because the miso got lots of health benefit. It's kind of sodium high but got lots of uh, benefit for you. you. Do some research because a lot of uh, active yeast and bacteria we don't want them to uh, cook too hot you know we want them to uh, just stay the way it is. Here we go. Mix it in and you give the stock a taste. Oh wow, delicious. I have eight cups of the broth with one and a half tablespoon of the dashi and two tablespoons of the miso paste. And I dissolve with the two tablespoons of the water. So this is perfect for me. But if you want to add or minus more flavor, that's good. If you want to add salt, it will be okay. But as I said, miso is high in sodium. So this is perfect for me. It's done. Uh, so I just want to let the soup bring up to a tiny boil. Probably another 15-20 seconds. Once I see the bubble like that, I'm happy. That's good. Ready to serve. Alright, so the soup is ready. I'm just going to pour it in into a big bowl. That's enough for four people. Ah, look at that. It's beautiful. And, not yet. I got some cilantro and green scallion. See, you have to utilize whatever you got. And uh, dry seaweed. Very inexpensive, but this is the ingredient for miso. So we can put a generously amount like that. Okay? And then, not quite yet, you can add napa or Chinese green or any kind of vegetable that you like to just give them a nice uh, uh, balance of the flavor and also uh, go with the fish cake 
and the tofu. So if you have a piece of uh, steak, the leftover, you can thinly slice, put on the top, it's fine. Because I believe that uh, my YouTube friend asking me for, can they put chicken? I say, sure, why not, right? And there's many ways to make ramen noodles. So this is one of the way. And I got some leftover kale, vegetable. Kale is good for stir fry, roasted, or cooking with the soup. And uh, what you're gonna do here, I just gonna simply toss it a little bit. Oh, smells so delicious. And the kale, I cut it pretty fine. And the seaweed, you see the dry seaweed? They start cooking. Looking good. My kids is ready. Cindy's here. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here is your Chef Tom Miso Soup Ramen Noodle Style. I hope you like the video. I will see you next time. Bye!